Well, hello, it's Beth from Be Styled, and yes, it is Tipsy Tuesday, better late than never. I wasn't going to come on live, um, but here I am, <laughs> um, and I have two things to share with you. First of all, the reason I wasn't going to come on is because it's just kind of, this, my life is a little bit zooey right now. It's all good. Um, we closed on our house, and um, now I just have a lot of decisions to make, kind of, kind of last minute, because I have painters coming, and electricians coming, and and I'm feeling a little stressed, but, and there's lot other issues, but all good. The other thing is I have, we, Bill and I have a wake to go to this afternoon or evening up in Massachusetts. I hear they're having awful weather. So that's kind of a bummer, but, um, and that was another reason that, and I was like, I'm not doing Tipsy Tuesday. My friend Kim's just stopped by a little while ago and she was like, wow, you look nice. You're all dressed up. I'm like, well, I've got a wake to go to. And she's like, sorry, I'm, you know, interrupting. You're probably about to go live for Tipsy Tuesday. And I was like, actually, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just, just didn't prepare. And she's like, definitely do it. And I'm like, I don't know. She's like, talk about what to wear to a funeral. She's like, everyone needs to have something ready to go to wear to a funeral because funerals are one thing that you generally don't have time to plan for. Right? Um, so here I am talking about what to wear. This is to a wake, um, you know, the funeral, you might dress a little bit differently. I, I think of wakes as being, I'm going to go down a little more less dressy maybe um, than an actual funeral mass, but um, we're going to the wake. I noticed my sweater's a little little low cut. Might have to rethink that. But um, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing p vintage peach items. I'm wearing my pink, a peach um, ponty knit, long flare, wide leg, flare leg ponty knit pants that a lot of you have. Um, or they could just be any black. I love ponty knit pants just because they're comfortable. They don't wrinkle. They're seasonless and they're as comfortable as anything could possibly be. So, um, and happily the peach um, ponty knit jacket matches it perfectly. So it's almost like a black suit. And then because this is not a necessarily sad wake, you know what I mean? It's, it's a very good friend's father who passed away at I think 94. His wife is 94, three, and they've been married for 67 years. And, you know, he was spent a week or two on hospice, but up until that, he was pretty good. He's, he's had a very full, wonderful life. And um, so this is, it's sad, obviously, anytime you lose, especially if, you know, a parent, it's so sad. But um, as we all know, it could be worse. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's gonna be more of a celebration of his life. So my advice, for a wake, especially especially when there's lousy weather, is is you know a jacket and pants. They don't have to match as a suit. Um, in fact, at all, they definitely don't. You know, it could be separates in a subdued neutral color. And then, um, you know, use your judgment when it comes to what top you're going to wear. Again, I would base it based on kind of the level of somberness of the funeral or the wake. And I have a couple of examples here. Um, the examples I'm going to show you are also using navy because a lot of people, you know, prefer navy. Um, and in the spring, I I just posted yesterday in my group that I'm navy is my new favorite neutral. I'm just I'm having a little love affair with navy. So I have a navy ponty blazer that has matching ponty pants that are like pull on snap zipper. I had to chain, exchange them for size so I don't have the pants with me otherwise I definitely would have worn this. Um, but a navy you know suit or separates that you can mix and match where you know to work to a funeral to a wake or separate. I wore this jacket yesterday with jeans and a navy sweater um, just for like a kind of a, again part of my navy obsession lately. Um, but you could wear um, a navy maybe or black and then pick a blouse. And I grabbed some just a minute ago from my rack. Um, again, if you want it to be very somber, respectful, you know, maybe it's a just a different, different than a hot pink. Um, you could go for a navy top. I love this navy. It looks like satin or silk, but it's not. It's probably, um, it's washable poly maybe. And it, it's, these are all, these are both cabbie pieces and so are the pants. The beauty of cabbie is that you know you, they're designed to work together. So the blues are great and the, the silky material just doesn't make it so flat against the, um, 
the, the navy. It's a tone on tone, but this has a little bit of, you know, it catches the light, a little bit of um, interest, I guess is, is the best word. And then I would add this necklace and I'd wear the navy pants. And you know what? I would probably wear the same black booties that I have on. Yes, you can wear black and navy. I know um, it's against a lot of how we were brought up. Our mothers never would have done it. Now it's very chic. It's been on the runways for the past seven years, black and navy. Um, you just have to do it intentionally. And, and my, my, you know, I'm not gonna run out and buy navy blue shoes, um, but I would definitely wear black shoes or I would wear like a taupe shoe um, with navy. Um, or in, and then in the spring and summer, I would wear this with just a neutral nude sandal. Um, or heel or ballet flat or loafer. Okay, so there's a very, you know, quiet navy, all navy outfit. Or you could do a navy and black and, and throw some color. Um, here's, a, here's a blouse. This, this is, I think, from an Amazon. Just a simple, pretty blouse in a, in a favorite color. Just because it's a funeral doesn't mean you can't wear any color. That's my opinion. Every, every, you know, um, culture is different and every, you know, re there are regional differences. And again, there are the occasions differ. So use your judgment, of course. Um, but, but I would say err on the side of just keeping things simple, conservative, solid colors, neutral colors. But, you know, uh, wearing one of your favorite colors is, is, is going to be fine. You know, blush is a nice, not white, you know, maybe in white it's a little, you know, I don't know. I, I would go with a blush for me personally, or an ivory, um, or even like a, a lavender with the navy or black. Um, so even though we're, you know, we're talking about going to a funeral, so it's not a high fashion moment, I talk all the time about the third, my three color rule. And it's something that I just sort of do naturally now. And it occurred to me when I was dressing today that my necklace is providing my third color because I'm wearing all black, from head to toe, except for the magenta, Viva Magenta, color of the year. Um, and I threw on, you know, very subtle huggy hoop earrings and silver and um, a silver ring and this silver collar necklace from Cabbie that I love. And this just, you know, it's not, it's, I, th I think it's very um, sophisticated and just pretty. And it's a finishing touch. I don't think it's too glam or glitzy or anything. It's just, I think I just I just like the way it adds a third element to my magenta and and black. So, I challenge you to. I've done this with you before. I know. Challenge you to go to your closet and just make sure you have something. So if two days from now you have to scramble and go to something along these lines, you're not pulling your hair out. And, and causing yourself more stress in an already potentially stressful situation. It's just, you know, be prepared. Like we used to talk about Girl Scouts of America. Be prepared. Was that the Girl Scouts? I think it was. Maybe it was the Boy Scouts. I don't know. Good to be prepared. All right. Before I go, I want to give a quick plug because the uh, spring style system is open and available for purchase. Um, it is a excellent value, if you ask me, and if you ask anyone, I think, who's in the program, who has done it in the past. Um, I want to give you a quick little overview of, of what you get. If you sign up, you'll immediately get a download, of, of an email that will tell you exactly what to do. But what you'll get is a printable checklist, a spring wardrobe checklist of things that, that I've sort of said, okay, these are some good things to have in your closet to start out the spring. Go to your closet, check things off, try things on, go to the free coaching group, post pictures if you're not sure if something still works for you or if you like it or if it's in style or the length is right or any questions, feel free to post it in the private, very private Facebook group just for the spring program. Then if you have things, if you do want to shop, which you don't have to do, chances are you have everything on the list in some form or another. Um, and, but if you do want to do a little spring shopping, there is a catalog um, that I that I create and curate, and it would look like it'll look like this. You can get it on your phone just from one from one click. You can save it to your phone home screen, just like an app. And you can go and you can go to the catalog, shop by category, right right on your phone or an iPad or on your desktop. Um, and then every day, starting Sunday night at 7:30, you'll get an email 
with a pr outfit prompt. I don't call it a, a formula, I call it a prompt because it's it's a jumping off point. It gives specific suggestions of what to, to combine from the, um, the list. This is a cabbie necklace, Pat. It's, it's from Cabbie, I, I will post a link. Um, and it's called the collar necklace from Cabby. Um, anyway, you'll get a, you'll get an email starting Sunday night at 7:30, and then every evening during the season at 7:30 for the following day, you'll get an outfit prop. It's a, it's an email. It's almost like a blog post where I write it in my own voice, telling you, okay, here's the outfit prop for tomorrow, and here are ways to adjust it and make it work for your day, for your weather, for what you're doing. They're very, very flexible and versatile so that whether you're staying at home or going to the boardroom or go to the grocery store or you know babysitting your grandchildren, you can make that one outfit prompt work for your day. And get dressed, that's the point. You're going to just get dressed every day and it's gonna take you less than 10 minutes. I say five minutes, but definitely less than 10 minutes especially because you're going to have all the stuff ready to go and you're just going to mix and match and maybe you're going to take longer because maybe you want to try new things and maybe maybe this is new to you and you're like what she wants me to do what <laughs> i mean none of these ideas are crazy but you know it might it, it might take a little time to get into a group but anyone who's done the program realizes that you do you do get into a group and we're not talking about high fashion crazy ultra trendy wacky outfits. If you want to do that, there's ways to do that. I mean, I'm all for getting out of your comfort zone and trying new trends. But if you're not if that's not your thing, it's just a way for you to easily put clothes on your body every single day, no matter what you're doing, so that you can then forget about it. Forget about what you're wearing and get on with your day and do you and be the most wonderful person that I know you are, not worrying about Oh, I don't like what I'm wearing. I wear the same thing every day. I feel so frumpy. I feel so, you know, blah. That affects your mood. It affects the way you interact with other people. It affects your productivity, all of it. So what this program does is it snaps you right out of that rut and it takes the clothes in your closet and it c combines them in very doable, approachable, grown-up ways. You know, you're not going to be copying your 20-year-old daughter, you know, but she's going to, but your 20-year-old daughter or whatever she is, 30, is going to look at you and be like, mom, I love your outfit. You look great. She's not going to be like, mom, why are you dressing like me? Why? That's not, that's not what she's going to do. She's going to say, mom, you look great. Like, wow. You know, and, and do we dress for other people? I think sometimes we do, but more it's for ourselves, but it certainly doesn't hurt when other people comment and compliment, whether it's your child, your sons, your husband, your boyfriend, the deli guy at the grocery store, the UPS guy, he's my best friend, he's here a lot. Um, it's, it's such a good use of your time, ladies. It really, really is. And it's, it's, it'll save you money. I'm convinced it saves you money, especially if you are disciplined and don't go buy everything. Be, you know, and I will tell you not to do that. I don't want people to go crazy shopping and buying everything. But if there are holes in your wardrobe that are making it difficult to get dressed, I will help you fill those holes. And I will provide shopping suggestions for every budget from Old Navy. I'm a huge fan of Old Navy. There's a ton of Old Navy in this catalog. There's Target in this catalog. Yes, there's Cabbie in this catalog on the, the more higher end expensive. But then there's even more expensive than that. There's Anthropology, there's Nordstrom, down to, to, to Target or whatever I come across that I think will work for our demographic and make, again, make getting dressed easier and more fun. Getting dressed should be fun. Style should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful and, and make you feel insecure and lousy. That is exactly what it shouldn't do. And that's what this, this group will, will give to you. So I hope you'll join. Um, I'm, thank you for um, staying with me today. Again, make sure you have that, that serious funeral outfit ready to go. And if you need help with that, join the Spring Style System and we'll, we'll set you up. You'll have it like that, all right? And you'll probably have it in your closet. We'll just show you what to put together, okay? So the link should be here to join. Um, 
And if you are a pro, if you have done a style system in the past, I've been doing these for years. I, I change them and improve them pretty much every season. If you are a past style system member, I am giving a free closet cleanse boot camp program to people who join in the spring who are former style system um, members. So if you are and you want that free boot camp closet edit, it gives you the step by step how to get into your closet and get it edited and organized. Um, shoot me a either a message uh, you know comment here that you want it um or um after you place your order for the style system shoot me a message and i will just send it to you no charge okay um there is a code but i can't i can't say the code here because not everybody was a former member and i can't give it to everybody okay so um just let me know that you're interested and i will send it to you okay but the, the link to join is right there. And for all of you who have already joined, thank you. I look forward to getting into that spring group. Outfits start Monday. So Sunday night, you're start, gonna get your emails. So starting Monday, I'm gonna be in your, in your business making sure you're getting dressed every day. Hopefully you already are, but starting Monday, there'll be no excuses, right? <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And, the, and the, the, the free group, or the group that's included, runs all season long. It runs through May. So it's like three months of group coaching where you can post pictures, make friends, or just lurk and read and learn. You don't have to post. You don't have to interact if you don't want to. But the people who do, I find, get the most results. But that's totally up to you. Um, and if you're not on Facebook, well, if you're not on Facebook, then you're not listening to this anyway. But if, you're, if you don't like Facebooks, so you don't like groups, you, that's not required either. I just think it's it it's it's a lot of value to the group. Um, anyway, you know where to find me. Message me, tag me at Beth Hire Roy, and I will get back to you. But um, thanks for watching, and go get dressed if you haven't already, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.